Yeah. Ooh. She's trying to get a fan face. Okay. <coughs> My throat is like a frog. <coughs> I know. No. <laughs> Can you see me? No. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am here with Lana! <laughs> Again, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Lana is visiting me from Glasgow. We were roommates on my Glasgow. first program. Glasgow. <laughs> we were roommates on our first program, living in Patterson. Both work merch, both at Hollywood Studios. That's the gist of it. So basically today we're going to be talking about the things they don't tell you about the GCP. <laughs> you know all the, I know the this is a spooky episode for Halloween. Do you want to say anything? We need to give us some pointers. So basically this is the kind of thing that you would want to know before starting your program. Mm -hmm. If there was a nice handy guide, this would be on it. So the first thing we want to talk about is that as a CP you are literally the bottom of the chain. You are last position. You are like nothing yeah you get the worst choice of shifts mm -hmm. um you'll have super early and super late yeah like you won't have well it's very uncommon that you'll have set shifts so you, well you had the same ones did you not on my second program i got a lot of six till twelves at world of disney yeah but the full timers don't but, want those shifts yeah they like, don't want them so it was continuous but like it wasn't a shift that they wanted anyway yeah but my first program i had one time where i I think I finished at 10.30 and the next morning I started at 8 and that was scheduled. My shifts were all over the place. I would mm. start sometimes as early as 7 in the morning and I would be working until park close and then I had shifts where I would actually clock out and then straight away I just clock right back in for the next shift. So bad. It'd be a double shift. But they wouldn't pay. Basically when you work over 8 hours you get overtime mm. so that's like $15 an hour because it was split shift. Yeah. It's just two short ones. They're being sneaky. Sneaky. So yeah, basically expect to get the worst shifts. You can try and trade them to get different hours, mm. but expect the worst and then be surprised if not. One good thing if you work at Epcot, Epcot closes at nine. So I think the latest you can work there is 11. Also, I'm losing my voice in case you can't hear, <laughs> but I'm dedicated to the craft. <laughs> no, I just had to on video with Lana here. Um, yeah, and then like Hollywood Studios would never finish that late unless there's extra magic hours. It's only really like Magic Kingdom where you're gonna get hit with those like 3 a.m. finishes. Mm -hmm. So if you get Magic Kingdom, good luck. Good, good luck. <laughs> Another thing we're gonna talk about is how not everyone who works at Disney is super nice and super happy. Yeah, especially at least in my location. Oh, but now they know where I work. But anyway, whatever. Yeah. In my location, and I also witnessed it in other locations, it tended to be like the full timers that had maybe lost the magic. I had the same experience. Yeah, and they were they didn't really make an effort to get to know the CPs, but I can kind of understand that because we're always coming and going. We're always there mm. for you know three months, six months. Um, so when I arrived there, they were just like, oh, it's just another lot of CPs. Why should I bother? Sort of thing. So, and I do get that. It's like a constant cycle of them just coming in and out. Yeah. But it can come across at first when you meet them as quite rude that they don't want to speak to you but yeah. genuinely it's like you're just a revolving door but and also you're gonna have people who are just it is their job that's how they're paying rent is just working there it's not all magical for them anymore which makes me think people maybe shouldn't work there as many years as they do if the magic's gonna be lost because yes. it's not as good for the guests. There's nothing they probably get annoyed at the CPs because you come in like, oh my god, <laughs> let's go make magic and everything's happy and wonderful. Thing. And they're like, I'm on ten dollars an hour. <laughs> I have <laughs> I'm working six days a week and I'm only supposed to work five, like But then it is not that bad because I was always on shift with other CPs. Mm. Very rarely yeah, that's was true. I working with a lot of full timers. So I always had at least a few other CPs, if not everybody working at that time, where yeah, I college. Yeah, when, whenever you work late, you're pretty much always CPs. Yeah. So that's quite nice because it means you get to know people you work with. Yeah. However, it doesn't mean that all the full timers are like that. Um, and some of them are really nice. Like I have mm -hmm. a few friends from my first program, especially, who are full timers or part timers, and I still talk to them now. Yeah, me too. So it's not like a blanket thing of everyone. It's just, just the odd few. Yeah. It's more likely that maybe they're not as happy Disney as you think. Also CPs, other CPs. Yes. There's some 
yeah, not everyone is like you think. There's going to be some people who you start thinking, why did you apply? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, why are you here? They're not very Disney-like. No, and they seem, I don't know. You s <laughs> Another thing is you're going to find out a lot of stuff behind the scenes and not all of it is good. So you start hearing more stuff about the company and the way things are run. So I loved like finding out all the information behind the scenes but like it's not always positive yeah i mean there's a lot of backstage magic as well and it is really interesting to see mm. what goes on backstage and how everything's run but of course there are the negative sides to that as well yeah especially when you see lots of people who are friends with the same character yeah and you don't want to see it okay so this is the positive side of the things that you don't know uh, there are a lot of perks working as a cast member and a lot of them aren't really advertised. 20% off merch, 40% mm -hmm. during the holidays. We went there for that, but Ooh. probably good thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we were already like swine. swine. Yeah. <laughs> so you get, and then you get 20% off a lot of full service restaurants. 40% mm -hmm. off some of them. Yep. Like when we were there, Boma was 40%, which is amazing. So, and Grand Floridian Cafe, that's 40%. So there's a list on the hub with all the discounts. Some, so some people on our program did backstage tours of, I know one of my friends, Fee, she did Fantasmic. Oh. There was some of Tower of Terror, so Haunted jealous. Mansion. Um, I know my friend Kira on this past program, she did one of the Safari at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. So they're like exclusive just for class members, so that's pretty cool. I didn't get to do them, it's very like first come first serves and different locations offer different ones. Yeah, and you so. can get general ones as well, they've done more recently uh, mm -hmm. yoga in front yeah, of the castle. Yeah, in front of the castle, that. again we couldn't do it, but yeah. you do get some exclusive things, like when Toy Story Land was opening they let in class members early. Yeah. So, some perks. Another thing that no one told us, that we just kind of figured out through friends who work there, is that places like... Um, Main Street Confectionery and Big Top Souvenirs, the candy counter that is like the treats, they are merchandise, so you get 20% off those as well. Because you don't get a discount on quick service restaurants, mm. you just get it on full service, but you get it off treats. Carrot cake cookie. Speaking of which, we just filmed a carrot cake cookie recipe recreation video. I think it's going to go up. This will go up after. Link so, below. <laughs> so, as a cast member, you do not get special treatment. Um, a lot of people might think this is so, but even when you're in the parks and other cast members find out that you are a cast member as well, they don't bump you to the front of the queue, you don't no. get any you know, freebies. Or... The worst thing you can do is be like, but I'm a cast member, I and know. expect them to care. Because like... sometimes you get magic moments when they think you're a guest, mm -hmm. yeah. so it's probably better not to advertise that you're a cast member. For sure. And it's just going to annoy them as well. Yeah. Like, it's the exact same as people who are like, I'm an annual pass holder. It's like, no. You're so? Not. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> so, cast members, you get all this cool stuff, but don't... When you're at the parks, you are just a guest. Yeah. Like, like everyone else. Another thing to talk about, I know I seem like we're being a bit negative, is you're not going to love every minute of every day. And some people put that in their summary post, like, I've loved every second of it. No, they didn't. No. Like, when you're taking out the trash... And then the end of the night when you're running for Transtar or Transtar's running 30 mm. minutes late or guests are being rude, you're not loving life. No. Or when you're standing outside in the 40 degree heat with no shade yeah. and you have been the past hour. Yep. And, or when it's raining. It's another thing. It rains all the time in Florida. All the time. It's not put on the promotional videos yeah. and stuff. It rains a lot. So, especially in the summer. But yeah, you're not going to be loving everything you get to do. No. Nope. And that's just part of the job. No one loves every part of any job. No, it's impossible. Yeah, it is a job. Like, it seem, it is, it's the most fun job I think you ever yeah. have. But it's still a job. Yeah, you've so. got to be realistic about it. Like, custodians, they're not going to be like, I love cleaning toilets. <laughs> yeah, well that was like my role at Oscars. I had to clean dirty strollers mm -hmm. when they were returned back. Yeah. It was my job to clean them and stack them. So I was having to lift heavy strollers and stack them and clean them after children had been sitting in them all day. Yeah, like, but, and I had to push this massive, these massive carts of drinks, 
like yeah. around and they were so heavy yeah. and I was literally like almost like horizontal <laughs> pushing these things like sweating and it's like guests try and help you because you look like you're having such a rough time <laughs> but I wasn't like oh I'm loving life right now but overall you love the experience so just go in with realistic expectations yeah it's not all Instagram walls and like a fun no but then I would say it is sort of like a family environment at least mm -hmm. where I worked everyone was very close and everyone helped one another so you never as much as there's the yucky side of the job everybody helped one another and everyone was doing the same yeah. thing having a good work location changes it so much yeah because if you like the people who you work with who you're probably going to be with a lot then that makes everything a lot better yeah definitely then it's like at the end of the night it's fun so whereas this summer when i was at Walt disney it was <laughs> Sugar. So yes, you're going to be exhausted. You're gonna sweat all the time. Your schedules with your roommates will never line up. Never. Like one time we, I think we had this consistent period where you had a morning shift and my shift started around midday. Yeah. And then like, I would see you when I came home from work asleep and yeah. you would see me asleep when yeah. you woke up. So all that happens, but Another thing they don't tell you, even though it might seem that way, is you will meet like some of the best people ever. 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 <laughs> so you're like, you're all there because you have this common love of Disney. Um, and you're all going to be quite positive, bubbly, mm. chatty, happy people. And you get to hang out with those people all the time. So that is one of the like absolute best things ever about yeah. the program and you'll come away from being with these people for like three months and feel like you've known them for like I was gonna say 30 years but I'm 22 <laughs> for 22 years you'll feel like you've known them forever you'll feel like closer to them than you've felt people you've gone to like school with it's crazy yeah I know when, when um the first week I felt like I'd known everyone for so long I know I think it's because the days are so long and intense you mm -hmm. try to cram so much into your spare yes. time that you get to know everyone on a different level. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that you're living with people as well. Yeah, like, I mean, we shared a room. Roommates yeah. have to share a room. Mm -hmm. And we didn't meet before, like, face to face I know. in Orlando <laughs> when, Alan when like, Lana walked in the apartment. We talked on Facebook. Yeah, but then and we knew it. that we were similar people, but you never know, like, similar people still clash. We were exactly. just lucky that. Yes. <laughs> Best friends. Yeah! So cute! <laughs> to end on a really negative note, another thing they don't tell you is the post-DCP depression. Yeah. It sucks. It is so real. Mm -hmm. Especially having such an amazing summer. You're way up here and then when you come home, you just crash. At least we did. <laughs> yeah. I really did. Yeah. Um, and it sucks. It's the it's... biggest come down. Yeah, definitely. But you always have to say you can't have the ups. No. If there wasn't, what was the downs, you wouldn't have ups or something. You don't get flowers without rain. That is yeah. a nicer way of saying it. <laughs> no, that's true, that's true. And also I think my mum said, better to be sad because it's over than, than it to have not happened. Yes, exactly. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. <laughs> so it's true though. Yeah. But yeah, post DC pre depression is really hard. I know some people who are like, I just want to go home. Like, I'm so done with it. And they get home, they're like, why? Yeah, I know. I really regret counting down those days. So. But I mean, you could probably do a whole video on DCP depression. Like, oh, yeah. How it hits, how to cope with it. Yeah. I feel like depression, in some way, is a strong word. But yeah. it does, it is a massive come down. Maybe and like the Disney blues. Yeah, More Disney extreme, blues, yeah. yeah. And like, no one really understands. Because you come home and it feels like your whole world's changed. And then you come back and nothing's changed. And everyone mm -hmm. that you see, they'll ask about it for a little bit. And then just move on. Yeah, and, and you still want like, to talk about yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like bursting. Because you just love it so much. And then everyone's kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, you just went away. You just had like a summer job. And then they move on and you're not this shiny new thing anymore. Like, you're just the same person in their eyes, even though you feel so different. Yeah, because for the whole summer, you're living in this Disney bubble. Mm -hmm. um, Em said that the other day where it's not like you're living in America. You're living at Disney. You yeah. wake up at Disney House and you get the Disney bus to your Disney work location. <laughs> like, it's Disney, Disney, Disney. So you're yeah. in this Disney bubble and then all of a sudden it just pops and you're back home into reality. And it's, mm -hmm. it's difficult. You don't have to worry about anything there. 
the most yeah. you have to worry about is like if I'm gonna get an ER. What, what ears will I wear? <laughs> yeah, oh god, where am I gonna get the Instagram today? There's no there's no worries, it's just easy life. It's not real life, but it's very lucky that you get to Rain, no live worries. that. Yeah, there's no worries, but you're very lucky that you get to live away from reality for a few months. Mm -hmm. One last thing I just wanna say is you don't expect to completely have your priorities go out of whack when you're there. Like, you don't talk to people back home. Oh yeah. yeah, actually I, I completely forgot about that. There were days, and no, probably weeks where I barely spoke to my best friends back home, yeah. my boyfriend, my family. But I, I called my mum like three times across yeah. the whole summer. But it's no fault of my own, like number one is a different time scale. Yeah, uh, time, zone. Time, time, yeah zone. time zone. Oh. Time zone, so that's difficult already, but then every single moment you've got time off you're just trying to make the most of the time you have mm -hmm. out there so yeah. you're just go 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 and this program I told myself I wouldn't do that I was like no I'm gonna try and make more effort to stay, stay in touch with people and I still didn't you just are yeah. so busy all the time and I think you just need to let people know back home that you're gonna be out of the loop for a little bit but yes it's temporary so that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed it please give it a like if you did subscribe <laughs> hope you enjoyed Lana being on the channel how could you not? I She's know. a queen. <laughs> and see you next time. Any last words? Uh, no. <laughs> I was trying to think of something really One inspirational. One final piece of wisdom. Don't stop believing in the magic. Oh, could have said that in a nice way. But <laughs> don't stop believing in the magic. <laughs> Let your dreams guide you. Reach out oh. and find your happily ever after. Oh. Yes. That's a good mic drop. Good one to finish on. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs>